what is up everyone welcome back to another video today we are going to be checking out are they the smartest country in the world netherlands explained so why why are people saying this that netherlands are the smartest people i'm not sure i have no idea that's why i want to check this video out and literally find out about it so yeah guys let's check it out together see what we got here yeah don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel check out our discord community guys link will be in the description below and yeah let's get on with the video see what things we got have you ever been to coastal areas think of building a home in those areas what would be the things that will come to your mind overall it would look like an insane thing for you but there are people in the world who are doing this every day who well, let us find out. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Countries, Economies Explained. Today, we are going to discuss an interesting as well as very informative thing. The Dutch are people who face water problems almost every year. Floods, cyclones, high tides, wow. etc. Those are all... Must be horrible there. though, bro. Still, they have managed to settle themselves there. How? And what are the measures that they do to protect themselves? Let us find out. But before that, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and click the bell icon to watch interesting videos. Go do that here, guys, as well. On a beach beside the ocean, have you ever attempted to construct walls or other obstacles to protect a sandcastle from the waves? Wow. This is the same challenge that the Netherlands is up against, but on a far larger scale. The Netherlands is also sometimes called Holland, and people that are from the Netherlands are called the Dutch. There are parts of the like, I mean, there's so many different ways to describe the Netherlands. It's unreal. The Netherlands that are either below sea level or fewer than three feet above the water surface. These low-lying areas are home to all of the country's most populous cities, including Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and The Hague. We went to the Zwieter Zee Museum when we were in the Netherlands to see an exhibit on floods that have occurred throughout Dutch Is that history. a flood? Bro. We were astounded by the sheer amount of catastrophic floods that have struck the nation. The Dutch have constructed a large number of dikes, barriers, and pumps around their nation in order to protect it against flooding. The clever Dutch have come up with many ways to protect against floods. To prevent these vulnerable events, Dutch have to find all these methods. They do the methods that help them protect themselves in adverse situations. Well, just look at that, bro. Some of these methods? Well, let us take a look at a few of them. The Dutch are vulnerable to floods from two different sources, the sea and rivers. They employ dikes, which are artificial barriers erected specifically wow. to prevent water from entering low-lying areas so that the land may remain dry. In addition to the dikes, they use pumps that are always in operation. If the pumps were turned off, the water would ultimately seep back into the soil that is lower than it was before. After a devastating... It's unreal, bro. The sort of... The things they've actually done to fix this water problem, it's unbelievable. Honestly, for me... I, I still can't believe it, you know? It's crazy. In 16, they constructed a single enormous dike and, and utilized it to block been the going on for the years, bro. Numerous floods were a direct result of the Sweeter Sea, which is an entrance to the North Sea. In order to prevent further flooding, the Dutch constructed a dike that was 32 kilometers long and 20 kilometers in length. After it was finished in 1932, it resulted in the creation of the Ige Selmeer, which is the biggest lake in Western Europe that contains only fresh water. The Dutch also use a tactic known as room for water, which means making space for water. In order to save the remaining land, there are times when they are forced to watch as the water takes over a portion of it. This water may have originated in the ocean or in one of the rivers. When it comes to rivers, they create space for the river by ensuring that rivers have lots of bends. This is because straight rivers might flow too swiftly, destroying dikes quickly and leaving less time to respond to floods. In addition to this, they construct two dikes all around important waterways, an inner dike for when the water level is normal and an outer dike for when the water level is high enough to go over the inner dike during a flood. We went wow. to a barrier that's known as Look the at that barrier, bro. Caring. It's part of a large system of dams that the Dutch have built to block off waterways. I want to see how the barrier actually opens and closes. Event that the water it's going to be quite awesome. High. This is another important component of the Dutch approach. This oh, is look the at that. Wow. that you will love. 
the first thing when it comes to insane ways to get rid of water problems. When you get to the Mace Lamp Carrying, the first thing that jumps out at you That's is crazy. how huge it is. It is really gigantic. When the water level in the ocean reaches an unsafe level, a series of enormous curving doors will shut off access to the sea. One of the arms that rotates the doors into position is as long as the Eiffel Tower when it is laid on its side. Oh, and it twice as much. Because of the way that it works, when it is completely full of water, it has an even larger weight than it had before. Yeah, that is true. When it started, the doors have to be positioned such that they are over the channel. After that, the water is poured into the hollow frame, which causes the doors to sink into the channel. This process is repeated many times. As a consequence of going through this procedure, wow, the doors end up being very solid and weighty. The Mace Lamp Carrying is designed to provide protection against a rise in sea level of up to 5 meters, which is about 16 feet. Only when it is projected that the water level would rise by at least 3 meters, which is about 10 feet, are the gates closed. Since they were completed in 1997, the gates have only been closed once, and that was for the purpose of an annual test. The test was okay. performed to ensure that they continue to function properly. The May Slant Carrying was constructed as part of the Delta Project, which included the construction of a massive network of dikes and storm surge barriers to defend the southwestern portion of the Netherlands. After a devastating flood in 1953, which claimed the lives of 1,836 people and caused significant damage to a lot of property and prompted the Dutch to rethink their approach to water management, the Delta Project was initiated. Now, in they've way, been having this problem for so many years, bro. But it has come to the point that I think they kind of figured it out. Like, they seem to be doing it all right now. So that's good. And let's see in the future what other things they can actually come up with. I would say they are pretty smart. They, they, they do a lot of inventions, you know. They invented a lot of stuff in the world. Ways may the Crazy. Netherlands be impacted by climate change. The higher temperatures caused by climate change provide the Dutch with a number of significant issues, the most significant of which are the increasing sea level and the intensification of storms. The level of the water is continuing to rise. The melting of glaciers and ice sheets is a direct result of rising temperatures, with the resulting water finding its way into the seas. There is enough water stored in the world's glaciers and ice sheets to cause an increase in sea level wow. of around 75 meters, which is around 250 feet. That's the crazy, bro. Of Greenland and Antarctica are home to the vast bulk of the world's glaciers and ice sheets. To present, sea levels have... I actually want to do some reactions to Gr Greenland and Antarctica. So if that is something that would actually interest you, because I, I literally have no idea about it, let me know. Give me a video suggestion about it, guys, on my Discord. That would be pretty cool as well. Risen by around 8 inches. However, projections indicate that they will continue to rise between one and six and a half feet wow. by the year 2100. 2100. Storms with a higher intensity are due to arrive next. Warmer air might potentially hold more moisture than cooler air. Imagine how the mirror in the bathroom mists up after you take a hot shower and how it would be clear if you switched to a cold shower instead. The results of a conversation that took place at Yale in 2012 on the issue of climate change and the media revealed that the atmosphere that surrounds the Earth is around 4% more humid than it was 30 years ago. Oh, this increased amount of water in the atmosphere provides more fuel for storms since there is just more water that has the potential to fall okay. from the sky, which in turn increases the frequency and severity of rainfall. In addition to that... Like, I mean, that sort of stuff, bro... I don't know, as the years go past... It it seems like the world is falling apart. I don't know if it's always been like that. But bro, it's pretty scary, you know. Tr imagine thinking about the world ending. That is pretty scary. That, violent storms often arise over the ocean. Wow. Warmer ocean waters provide more fuel for Look storms that, than do ocean waters with a lower temperature. The Dutch will pay careful attention to the rate at which the sea level rises over time in order to ensure that their defenses and systems offer an acceptable degree of protection. As sea levels continue to rise and more areas across the globe are impacted by flooding, the water management skills that the Dutch have cultivated over the course of many centuries will only become more and more significant. Already, Dutch experts are sharing their knowledge and collaborating on water management strategies with authorities in New York, Vietnam, particularly the Mekong 
Delta, Bangladesh, and other locations across the world. Well, that's all for this video. Okay. Make sure you drop down a comment on what you think about these things. Tell us if you think you'd be able to survive if someone sent you to live in this type of region. And if you found this video interesting, then please like it and share it with your Wow, so yeah, that was actually a pretty interesting video. Really did enjoy that. Learn things every day about Netherlands, things about it like culture. But wow, bro, let me know your thoughts as well, guys, in the comments. Go check out our Discord community. Link is below in the description, as I mentioned earlier. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, have a great day. Peace out.